Lesson 8.3a, Cross-Sections of a Right Rectangular Prism. A cross-section is the intersection of a three-dimensional figure and a plane. A plane is a flat surface that has no thickness and extends forever. So this would be the cross-section of an oak tree. An intersection is a point, or set of points, common to two or more geometric figures. So here we have a line, we have another line. The intersection is the point where they meet. That's what they have in common. It's like the intersection where streets cross. These two planes intersect at a set of points A, B, C. So it's like having a sheet of paper going this way and another one going that way. And there's a fold here, but we have points A, B, C. That's where they intersect, at a set of points. When we slice food, we make a cross-section with each slice. Slicing a pineapple from top to bottom, or a slice of an orange, or you've probably had sliced mushrooms. Slicing a strawberry, slicing bread, or slicing an apple. Anatomical, that's anatomy cross-sections, are used in science to study interior parts of the body. So this is the cross-section of a tooth. You can see the root. We can imagine a plane slicing through a square pyramid. Horizontal with the base, the slice would make a square cross-section. Vertical to the base, the slice would make a triangular cross-section. So remember, pyramids are named for the shape of their base. So if the base is a square, it's a square pyramid. If the base is a triangle, it's a triangular pyramid. If the base is a pentagon, it's a pentagonal pyramid. If we imagined a plane slicing horizontally through a cone, we would make a circular cross-section. And depending on the angle of our slice, we would make a circle, an ellipse, that's an oval, a parabola or a hyperbola. And we'll learn more about parabola and hyperbola in high school geometry. Here's a rectangular prism. A three-dimensional figure can have many different cross-sections depending on the position and direction of the slice. We could slice it horizontally this way and make a rectangle, or we could slice it vertically and make a rectangle. We could slice it on an angle, on a slant, and make a parallelogram. We could even slice off a corner and make a triangle, or more of the corner to make a trapezoid, or on an angle coming through the center and make a hexagon. If the cross-section was located higher, the cross-section would be smaller, it would have less area. And if the cross-section was located lower, the cross-section would be larger. It would have more area. Because a cross-section is formed by the intersection of a plane and a three-dimensional figure, cross-sections are also called plane sections. We can use sticks of butter to cut cross-sections as a rectangle, square, parallelogram, or triangle. Just don't waste the butter. And we can use foam shapes from a craft store to make cross-sections. If you go to a craft store, to the floral section, they'll have dry foam, brick, and cones that you can use to make cross-sections. We're finished with Part A. We're going to move on to Part B, describing cross-sections. If you're going to try to make your own cross-sections with sticks of butter, make sure your parent or guardian knows and that you don't waste the butter. You can wrap it up and use it for later. Have a wonderful day, and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.